On this video, I'm going to show you how to check your students turn it in on their extended essay. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your groups and find the class group that you've worked with. So these have not been updated. So we're still looking for the current grade 12s so looking at their grade 11. So I'm just going to go to the first group here and B. And I'm going to click on the final EE deadline. This should be the deadline of what they submitted in the end of May. So I'm going to pick lovely Lara Nas and her extended essay, which is downloaded here. Now, over here, it's been checked and turned it in. It says it has a 12% similarity, which for an extended essay, that's a pretty good number. But it doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. We actually have to click on it and make sure none of that 12% is anything we should worry about. So now that her essay has loaded, I can look and see what the similarity is on. So the first thing here, extended essay, subject, studies and language and literature, category one, that's gonna be on every extended essay um, that's in category one in language and literature. So not a problem. If I look here and I say the name of the book, also not a problem. So all of these things so far are just common references. They're not gonna be a problem. Table of contents beginning, no problem, I can skip through all of this. And so far she's looking just fine. So I'll keep on skipping through and looking to see here, sometimes this is gonna be a problem because you see that maybe she's taken this sentence from somewhere else and just try to change a few words, but it's just the name of the book and the author and a few extra words. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Go through. Here, now this is a cause for concern. It, I am looking at a huge section of text that's been taken from another source. It says Oxford and Cambridge universities in Wolf's time symbolize the greatness, promise, and identify the, of a nation. I see no um, source being quoted here. I don't see this in quotes. This is an area that I would have to call up Laura Naz and say, it's not acceptable. This has to change. We can't send it like this. So that's one piece. Here we have another sentence from that same source coming out. If there's this case where we have a whole paragraph or so, it brings up from the same source, I'd like to even look at that whole source and see what, is she taking the ideas from this source as well and just putting them in her own words? Because all of that would be a problem when it comes to English literature or any other research field. So this is okay. This is a quote with a citation, so that's just fine. This is a quote with a citation, so that's just fine. Common language, I'm not going to worry about that. Quote, citation. So what I would do as we get to the end here, looks like that Lara Naz is in pretty good shape. Um, I would say her, her formatting of her work cited is incorrect because this seems to be a reverse indent. It's indented like a normal indent, but it should be the second line indented, not the first. So that would need to be changed. But otherwise, we just have to look at that one paragraph and have her sit down, look at the source that she's used and figure out why um, has she pulled just this little section from there and should she cut it or put it completely in her own words or quote it and cite it. Okay, and that's all.